Angie? You all right? You haven't come down all day? Oh, I'm getting worried about you, dear. I'm sorry. I... I didn't realise. I've not been feeling too well. Oh. But I'll be down in a minute. What? Uh, no. No, no, no. You you stay in bed, darling. I, I'm managing perfectly fine here on my own. So take your time and rest, and, and don't worry about a thing. I'll go and make you a cup of tea, shall I? And a nice sandwich. Yes. I bet you'll feel better once you've had some food in you. Do you need anything, nurse? I'm going into town. I could stop at the pharmacy, get you some cough syrup or painkillers or something. No need, Kieran. Thanks, but... I just need some rest, that's all. You sure? Because that's no bother. Not at all. I'll be fine. Well, okay. But give us a shout if you need anything, yeah? Because, uh... I, um, we're all worried about you, nurse. You're not still upset about, you know, when I pushed you? Because I was really drunk at the time and I just fucking <sighs> snapped. What? That was not cool, and I know that, okay? And I'm sorry. It's fine. Yeah? Okay, cool. Cause I was thinking, you could come over to LA when this is all over. I take you out for a meal and then we go shopping. I know some really amazing places, like you wouldn't believe. There's no such thing as a bad sandwich, really. It don't matter what you put on it, still make for a hearty meal. But I'm an old man. I know what I like, and I know what I don't. And nothing beats a good old ham and mustard, if you ask me. Well, I can make you one, if you're hungry. Not now, dear. I'm all right. It's just... good to have you back, you know? That's very sweet of you, George. Thank you, but... I feel like I've not been very helpful the last couple of weeks. That's fine. Well, he can still take care of himself and the farm. And it's not like he's completely without help. <clears throat> well, I can see you've had a good shave and you're wearing clean clothes. Oh, yes. Thank you for noticing. Still, I should have done more. Don't be silly. When you're sick, you're sick, and there's nothing you can do about it. I should be looking after you, not the other way around. 
Oh, I can still do more than everyone thinks I'm capable of. The truth is, I don't even need a carer. But Sarah insisted, and I just didn't want to fire. I wouldn't fight her either. She can kill people with just her eyes. But it's been nice having you around. You never shout at me. You give me sandwiches. And you're, you're good company. I like you, Angie. And helping you when you're sick is the least I can do. I should get back to work. Tell me what needs to be done, George. Oh, well, I would like to ask you a favour, actually. Yeah? What is it? Just uh, come to the living room and uh, grab that bag of crisps on the way, would you? There you are. Sit down. And pass the crisps. The film's about to start. A film? Yes, an American one. So sit down, put your feet up, make yourself comfy. Oh, I've watched it before, but that's okay. It's one of those movies you can keep watching, again and again. Where's Jenny? She's become a basement dweller lately. Whatever her problem is, she don't want to share it with me. And I don't intend to pry. Oh, come on. There's plenty of room. Just get on that bloody door. Well, they'd both fall in the water if he did that. But she could just scooch over or something. I swear, it feels like she just wants him to freeze to death.
She's never been this sick before. We should call an ambulance. Or maybe I'll drive her to the hospital myself. It'll be faster that way. No, Kieran. No? What good will that do? This cancer is killing her. But there's no cure or treatment that'll make her better. If she goes to the hospital, they'll pump her full of morphine. Leave her to die among strangers. What sort of death is that? I don't know, George. I just don't know anything anymore. What would she want? We know what she doesn't want. And that's hospitals. She told me. And as bad as it is to watch her suffer like this, we'll make sure she stays here. With us. Until the end. After all, we're the only friends she's got. some vegetable soup. I know you're not hungry, but you should eat something. You'll feel better with nice hot soup in your tummy. Do you want a cigarette? I haven't smoked since 1992, and I have no intention of going back to it, thank you very much. But I made this nice soup for you. Angie? That's all right, darling. We'll try again later, yeah?
I thought my head was pounding. But it was you all along. No, uh, listen, sweetheart. Your head is pounding because you're fucking dying. So leave me alone. I'm almost there. Get out of my head, Jimmy. I can't take it any longer. I didn't ask to be in your head. No, shut up and let me do my thing. Will you? You don't want to do this, Jenny. There's a monster inside. I know. Why do you think I've been trying to open it? But it will... No, it won't. It's my monster, and it will do as I say. It will destroy you the minute you set it free. Well, there's only one way to find out. This door needs a password to open, and I happen to know it. You're shitting me? You've known it all this time, and you've never told me. You never asked. Well, I'm asking now. Tell me. What's the damn password, Angie? Fuck you, bitch. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. You wanna play like this? That's fine with me. But we'll see who's laughing at the end. Hey, would you like a cigarette? You know I don't smoke. But didn't you ask me for a cigarette the other night? Yeah, well... I smoke occasionally when I'm drunk or high. But I'm neither now, so... I can get you a drink. Just look at this place. There's booze everywhere. Um, I guess. You carry on hammering on that door and I'll get you a little something to help you relax, yeah? Ah, uh, why not? I never say no to a glass of martini. Martini it is, then. Jenny?